it could well be a paintbrush from when I used to do GCSE art. I don't know, I just know it's the best blending brush I've ever owned, so I'm gonna continue to use it until every bristle falls off. Hopefully it's entertaining. Oh, makeup. Hey, what's up guys and dolls? It's Poppy Shots, and I have another makeup review for you today. So this product has taken me longer to get than I thought it would. It is the Kat Von D Alchemist Highlight Palette. So it's called the Alchemist Holographic Palette. Even the packaging is holographic. Like how cool is that? It is seriously a really cool product. And when you open it up and look inside, you can see she's beautiful. So it comes with four different colors of highlight. We have the green highlight, which is called Emerald, the blue, which is called Sapphire, the purple or ultraviolet, which is called Amethyst, and then the bottom one, Opal, which is like a pink color. So these are really, really nice um, colors so far that I've used them. I have used them as part of my eyeshadow today. I've mixed them with the Pastel Goth palette. So to create this eye look, I mixed the Amethyst and Sapphire colors. I put those over the top of the Pastel Goth purple and blue. So these are the names of the two Pastel Goth palette colors I mixed it with. And then I just buffed it out with um, this color from the Pastel Goth palette, which I love the Pastel Goth palette. It's really great. So this is coming in as a close second for my favorite Kat Von D palette. Highlights, however, I have a very tough relationship with. They tend not to work on me. I don't know why I've tried. I have, I have tried. I have tried many, many different highlights. I've tried three different Benefit highlights, a Too Faced highlight, uh, Urban Decay. What was the other one? Smashbox? Nothing. Absolutely nothing happening. I, in all my other videos, have been wearing MAC Lightscapade. You can't tell that I'm wearing it. So I will be doing a video next week, I think. Yeah, next week as a sort of glow or no for highlights. What I'd recommend if you're like me and have really pale skin that doesn't seem to take highlight. So that's why I have quite a lot of hope for this palette because they're odd highlight colors. Like green and purple aren't exactly your standard highlighting colors. So I have very high hopes that this is going to work, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to first try a blue sapphire. So I'm using a fluffy brush to apply this with. Ooh, girl. Oh, safe to say she works. Hell yeah. Oh, damn. Oh, I like this. Okay. I'm gonna go underneath it with green emerald. <sighs> Hell to the yeah. I am having a great... Oh my god, you can see that I'm wearing highlight. This is great. Like, this... It's really nice color payoff. It's not too heavy. I feel a lot of the time when you go with lighter highlights, I especially find this with MAC Lightscapade, it kind of sometimes just looks like you have a white streak on your face whenever your highlight's not being caught. But this just blends into the rest of my makeup. And whenever it catches, like, boom, you see she holographic AF. I'm actually gonna go in with a bit of the uh, Violet Amethyst just here to create that three toned color that you get whenever you see the light reflect off this palette. I mean that real holographic effect. I'm just gonna go with the purple up here. And green and blue. I am really feeling this. This 
is a really nice I'm gonna take off my my lighting so this is it just under normal everyday light and it's when you're like boom check out my highlight it's clearly a highlight but it's not whenever you're just head on to in your face it just lifts your cheekbones quite nicely I'm really feeling that you did see I applied quite a lot there so now in natural lighting I'm going to do the other side now I really liked how amethyst came out the purple color so I'm gonna go with that oh hell yeah amethyst might be my favorite one out of this palette now that is what you want a highlight to do catches the light but it's not in your face whenever it's not I am going to go try opal just up here to bring a bit more color yeah and because I have quite a red nose I'm gonna go color correcting highlight and go with emerald just oh yes girl that was the right decision and I'm gonna go with ultraviolet again just above my brow bone I'm gonna bring it up my nose a little higher so yes oh I love this side I would so this is a more natural way to wear the highlight so you just lightly use one color one uh, pat and go is all you need but then boom you layer her up and you have an intense going out highlight but even head on though it doesn't look too in your face I'm gonna put my lighting back on I am a gog I am a ghast I am in love at last this is it's, it's working on my skin first of all so if you have pale skin and struggle to find a highlight got you boo Kat Von D she's got you this is insane like whenever I use it as an eyeshadow earlier and to like make my lips look holographic I was like oh yeah this is quite nice it just seems to be very light though I don't really I feel like it's just gonna have the same effect as the MAC Lightscapade one but no she's there you can see her even the naturally applied side instead of like the going outside the natural one is like it's really natural looking which is odd considering the colors I'm using are green and purple you wouldn't think that would make a natural look but there it is yeah this is yeah this is great I feel like I'm always doing just like really positive reviews but I just seem to be lucking out at the minute and getting some really nice products so this is what the palette looks like it is 25 quid from Debenhams so not that expensive as far as palettes go and you are getting a really prettily shaped palette you're getting a wee mirror with it you're getting four colors which is four highlights basically and they even on the Sephora website not on the Debenhams website yet but I don't think they just are as extra with makeup as American websites are on the Sephora website they pair the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette with this palette and show you here's the picture I'm talking about what it's like with the holographic on top of the normal one so it's made to pair with Kat Von D's palettes and as you can tell by my dope ass eye look it works on the Pastel Goth palettes as well I'm sorry that I'm not looking in the camera I'm just really distracted by how nice this highlight is so yeah I am going to go ahead and rate this a full 10 out of 10 because highlights hate me and this one seems to be my friend so I will be buying this in bulk so from the UK you can get it from Debenhams you can order it from Kat Von D online you can order it from Sephora I think um, yeah, I applied it with a fluffy brush that has lost its label. It could well be a paintbrush from when I used to do GCSE art. I don't know, I just know it's the best blending brush I've ever owned, so I'm going to continue to use it until every bristle falls off.
So that's it from me today. I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a wee like and comment if you want me to try any different looks with this palette. If you want to see what I did to create this eye and lip look, if you want to see how this palette marries with the other Kat Von Z palettes, put in the comments below what you want to see in the next video. And that's where I'll see you guys later.